Right, with us we have Merrick Pringle, former South African cricket player and now a bowling coach who's been um, asked here by Cricket Namibia to help out with our national cricket team. Merrick, welcome to Namibia. Firstly, tell us how did this uh, job come about? Um, well, I, I, know, I know Francois Erasmus quite well. I've, uh, I was here a few years ago with Gary Kirsten and helped out in, uh, doing some consultant work and um, Graham McMillan got a hold of me. Um, found out that I was back in South Africa because I've been coaching cricket in India for three, the last three years and asked if I'd been interested. You know, I was obviously back home um, helping out with super sport and having a bit of a rest, a holiday. And uh, yeah, I was, was, was gladly uh, coming to help and, and uh, see what the boys are up to. Right, so what have you seen so far? And not going too well on the pitch there, but what do you think of the talent here? Yeah, look, it's a very young side, and uh, they've got a very long way to go. You know, still with a young side like this, yeah, it, it, it's pleasing to see. Um, but yeah, I think the disadvantages are you need one uh, a big main sponsor needs to come on board here, yeah, where and turn it to more, make it more professional. Um, but the guys have cricket training in the morning and the afternoon, and that basically becomes a full-time job. Um, a lot of them are, are working, a lot of them are farmers. Long way to travel. Um, but the, the talent is there, there's no doubt about it, but it's, the, the problem is the availability at times for certain games and for certain tournaments, which is a big, uh, bit of a downfall. And also, of course, Namibia has got a very small player base, um, small population. Is that a drawback or do you think one can build on the talent over here? Uh, it would be a little bit of a drawback, obviously, the, you know, the more players, the more to select from. Um, but, you know, what I've seen, uh, there, there is a lot of talent around. Um, and it, it, it must make it a bit easier for, for the rest of the guys if there's not too much pressure from someone else knocking on the door if they make too many mistakes in there. But yeah, it's, it's a very young side and a lot of talent, a lot still to learn. But uh, as I said, I, th I think it needs to, a lot of uh, funds need to be pumped in to make it even uh, more worthwhile for them to you know, make this the full-time job for them. Right, talking about that funds, you're of course from South Africa where cricket is big. Um, how does Namibia and, and the smaller countries, also Afghanistan here now, um, can they actually compete with the top nations? Or what do they need to reach a level? Yeah, yeah they, they could compete against uh, the top nations, but uh, as, as I said, no, no, the funding needs to come in for, to make it a more professional outfit. Um, and I think you'll probably get more players coming in to play. I, I believe one of the players, um, Harry, I forget his surname Sorry. now, yeah, you know, the last time I saw him, uh, Gary Kirsten said, you know, this guy must never be lost in Namibia. He's, he's brilliant and he's only in his early 30s now and uh, he's given up and he's gone to, end, I believe he's in England, uh, playing some club cricket there. It's a huge loss to, uh, to Namibian cricket for someone like that. Now, if there were funds um, to support a guy like that, you know, he would probably be here today playing and would be stronger, fitter. Um, and, and funding would bring on doctors on board and more and more and more and, and a bowling consultant on a permanent basis and that type of thing and it will just make it more exciting for the players and uh, more competitive for, for the little group that you guys have got here in Namibia. Right, Merrick, tell us about your <coughs> cricket commentary. You're also helping out at Supersport as a causal commentator. How's that going? Yeah, it's going well. I mean, it's something that I never thought I would, I would be doing now. I still want at least another five years or so uh, coaching in, in the international arena or at first class level. Um, yeah, I was obviously back home and Supersport uh, introduced course of commentary to, to, into their systems and uh, then they were battling with, uh, with course of commentating and they found out that I was fluent in course and brought me into it. it it's, very different. Um, there's no tr direct translation from an English word or Afrikaans word to to Kosa. but uh, yeah, they, they make up their own things, and we all have adapted to it, and it's very interesting. It's yeah, it's enjoyable very much.